Here in Acts chapter 10, the good news of salvation is going to Cornelius and his people, Roman soldiers. Now, the Romans were enemies of the Jews. They had invaded Israel, and they were governing Israel by force and cruelty, not Cornelius, but the others. And as a class, Peter didn't want to have anything to do with them. And here God had promised to give to Peter the keys of the kingdom of heaven, to open the doors. And he had asked his disciples, go into all the world and preach the gospel. And Peter was still holding back and being with Jewish people. You see, this was a change. They were afraid of the Romans. The Romans ate food that God himself had asked his people not to eat. We don't like change. If we're comfortable with our own friends and our own circle of, of language and habits, we don't like to be thrown among people we don't know and hear strange accents. But God has chosen here, Peter, to open the doors of blessing to the whole world. And God is asking them here to go to Caesarea and preach the gospel to Cornelius. And it's going to involve eating things that he didn't want to eat. Verse 11, And saw heaven open, and an object like a great sheet bound at the four corners, descending to him and let down to the earth. In it were all kinds of four-footed animals of the earth, wild beasts, creeping things, and birds of the air. Here were things like pigs and lizards that uh, Peter had never eaten. And he said, not so, Lord. What a strange way to talk to Jesus. Not so, Lord. If he's the Lord, we should say, yes, Lord. But Peter, like you and me, he didn't want to obey the word of God. God often chooses people to do what, what we're not naturally inclined to do. Moses wasn't a good talker. Moses said, Lord, you need to some, send someone else. This is too hard. I'm just not eloquent. I don't speak well. Uh, but God sent him. God chose Mary to go and tell his disciples. And she'll be rewarded in heaven for going when she wanted to stay. Uh, God chose Paul and turned him around and changed him. He was a rude leader of soldiers. And afterwards, he described himself like a gentle nurse taking care of her own children. God here is calling Peter. This is against his own ideas, ideas that God had given to his people years ago. But now it's a time for change. God's people had refused the love of Christ. They had nailed him to the cross. They had shouted to Pilate, away with this man, crucify him. And now blessing is coming from the blood of Christ and not from the temple in Jerusalem. And so Peter obeyed the word of God and went down to Caesarea. And here's something else that very often happens when we obey the word of God. We get into a difficult situation where we have to be faithful. There's no other choice. We simply must be faithful. Peter walked up to Cornelius and Cornelius knelt down to worship him. And Peter had to tell him faithfully, stand up, I myself also am a man. Peter can't step on ground that belongs to God alone. And, you know, we might say, well, you might offend Cornelius. You might hurt his feelings. But that's not the point. When God chooses us to be his servants, we must be faithful to him, whatever the consequences may be. And so Peter, uh, Cornelius stood up, and Peter preached Christ to them. Christ crucified, Christ raised from the dead, and Christ the Savior for forgiveness of sins. And never before in the book of the Acts has the gospel gone out to Gentiles. And God so valued the work of Christ on the cross that he could save now the whole world. And the Holy Spirit fell on all these people in a visible way. They began to speak in tongues, and Peter could understand their languages. 
And he said, can we forbid water that these should not be baptized? And so they were baptized in the precious name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, when Peter came back to Jerusalem, his own brethren criticized him. You went with the Gentiles. You ate with them. You may have eaten some things that are not Jewish food. Here's another thing that going to happen. If we humbly obey the word of God, we'll probably be criticized even by our own people, perhaps even our own family. And Peter humbly answered and told what had what uh, God had spoken to him about. And he told how the Holy Spirit fell on these people. And now, by the grace of God, Roman soldiers are added to the church of God. Now they can sit around a common table and share in the bread and wine together. Roman soldiers and Jewish people that had been enemies before, having made peace, the Bible says, having Jesus having made peace by the blood of his cross.